Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You know, next to singing, I think the thing I like to do the most is to laugh. And our next guest can make me laugh easier than almost anybody I know. I'm not alone. He's been fracturing the people in theaters, TV, nightclubs for a very long, long time. Most recently at New York's Copacabana. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say we welcome Mr. Gene Bellows? <laughs> Gene, I, uh, I do hope you're in fine settle tonight. In fine what? You know, good spirits. Oh, I definitely am. I am. Well, and I want to tell you something, Frank. I think you're doing a great job on the show. I really made it no well, concern. thank you. And I want to tell you, my wife saw the show last week, and she came home raving about you. She wonderful. They took her away today, and uh, it's really wonderful. And you're doing a good job, so I'll you know, see you. Wait not, in the car. You're not supposed to start the act till I leave. Okay, but here's what I want to do. I want to shorten the sleeves a half inch, raise the coat. You'll come in Friday. Right after the holidays, I want to talk to you about a blue gabardine. Go. Bye. Very, very, very nice to be here. Of course, I didn't think I was going to be here until a few hours ago. There's a little difference in money, you see. I wanted $5, and Frank didn't want to give me anything. But I had a wonderful day at the track today. I got to ride home. I bet on a horse today, 20 to 1, he coming a quarter to 8. First time in the history of an eight-horse race, seven horses came in for a photo finish. My horse had to sit down for an oil painting. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not a sore loser, but when a horse comes over to the grandstand and says to me, which way did they go? <laughs> Man, what good is money? What good is money? Take Henry Ford with all his wealth, never owned a Cadillac. <laughs> Listen, this is a fabulous business. I say if you're doing a good job, why look for big laughs? Tonight, I'll settle for intellectual nuts. You know, I never force my humor. I'm not like a lot of comedians. You get a lot of comedians come on the stage. If they don't get laughs, they brush off the show and they run. I never brushed off a show in my life. I try every show, but I never brushed off a show. Right before the show, I was standing outside the studio. A bookmaker walked over and said, Gene, you want to make some money? I said, how? He says, throw the show. <laughs> I will never throw a show. I say you do well because with me, this is a fabulous business. If you're doing well, what does this all mean? Certain guys worry about a dollar, and I've been on TV before, and it doesn't prove anything. <laughs> How do you like this? Tonight, I'm looking to show off. I burn a hole in the coat. And I'm glad to be here. I was on the show last year. Frankie, give me this watch as a present. Is this a nice watch? No matter what time it's all over the world, it's 4 o'clock on this watch. <laughs> And I just come back from Miami. I worked in one place in Miami Beach four years. When I opened, I didn't have 10 cents. Today, I owe $62,000. <laughs> you know why? I'll tell you why. Show business today is a phony business. Had a fellow, Tony Martin was down there last year for two weeks. What do you think he got for the two weeks? $30,000. Or well, what good is it? It isn't steady. I work steady. Right after this show, I go to the warehouse. I got the Paramount Theater in Calcutta, India. I have two days in Bombay. These are terrible pains. I'm not a well-born. You know the guys that really knock me out? You ever get these guys stare at you like this on the street? You ever meet these guys? Five o'clock in the morning, they stare at you like this here. You think they're staring? Just drove in from Miami. They made it in one trip. <laughs> hey, you walk over to the guys. Hey, Lou, what are you staring? The guys, what are you crazy? Who's staring? Just drove in Miami. Made it in 33 hours. So what's so wonderful? The lights are with us, that's all. We drive all over like this, my wife and I. We made California close to four days. Keep her eyes on the road all the way through. We watched that white line yesterday. <laughs> Went off the mountains twice. These are terrible pains, you see. But this is nice. Working in a theater like this, it's, this is different than working in a theater in Miami. I worked in a theater in Miami about three years ago, and you should see the different types of people that come into a theater, especially in the afternoon. Now, who in their right minds come into a theater in Miami in the afternoon with the sun out? Who do you think comes in? Sunburn cases. <laughs> They're walking like this. I'll sit over here, Freddie. You sit there by Harry and I'll sit over here. <laughs> but I'll tell you, tonight you've been such a wonderful audience. I'd like to do a little number. I recently did it at the pump room at the Mount Sinai Hospital. <laughs> tonight, I'll appreciate it very much. After the show, on the way out in the lobby, if you'll try some of my jams and jelly. <laughs> and I know I'm coming back here on Frankie's show next year because I overheard the producers say it's going to be a cold day when he'll be here again <laughs> either Christmas or the holidays which I'm not definitely sure but we made it about four and a half to five hours <laughs> we go right through but the wedding the wedding is definitely set a week from Sunday now Saul and Zelda are getting married those that are driving listen to this those that are driving please have a call now we're going to use the back road listen to this here 
We are not having the wedding in back of the store. We're giving away also after the show a nude picture of Robert Hall. <laughs> Listen to this. A 1956 Buick windshield wiper. <laughs> also a... 12 pound, listen to this, we're giving away also four pairs of BBD shorts. With this, listen to this here! <laughs> you in show business, get your feet off my stage. Now we're gonna do this here, but it's definitely set. Now we're gonna meet under the bridge, and we should make it about two and a half to three hours if we drive around, because these are terrible pains and I'm not a well boy. But I will say one thing, that after the show, we're giving away the Hoover button. Listen to this. The return, the return of the wealth of a man that never said that great success is not in the man and in his heart, but the thought. Because you will know that I said to Freddie, he's a terrible face. I'm not a little boy. I'm going out of here. I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you very much. We'll see you again in the show.